Yo, what's going on, guys? Audi Gaming here, and today we're gonna be looking at my three thousand dollars setup. I'm not flexing; it's just facts. But let's get right into this. get right into this so let's start from most expensive to least expensive i will have an amazon link to all of these if i can find one in the link so the least expensive item here is my Herally gaming mouse this mouse comes around 1990 $19 $19.95 $19.95 and it's a really nice mouse it's a gaming mouse and it's really nice the one downside is that when your hands get sweaty it slips off because of this finish a little bit but it's really nice other than that i've been using it for like a few months and it's i like it a lot and to, and then let's get to our next item item will be my gaming keyboard this is a red dragon kamara k552 gaming mechanical keyboard and you guys probably have seen my unboxing on this and my decision is still the same it's a great keyboard really good for playing fortnite and stuff and i really enjoy using it and it also has a backlit, which is really rare for these. It's not budget, but it's only like $29.95. And that's a really good deal. And let's move on to our next item. Our next item will be my Turtle Beach headphones. Now, this is the Turtle Beach Recon 50P headphones in the blue and black version. It comes with a white and blue version, but I like this version a lot better. The mic on this is pretty nice for just playing Fortnite and some gameplay. I'm getting a new mic for my live streams, though, because this one, the P's and the B's pop a lot, which is a little bit of a problem. But other than that, the cushioning is really nice on this. It's really soft, and it's good for your, it feels nice on your ears. And the headband is really soft. It's not very thick, but it works for long gaming stretches. Next item will be my PS4 controller dock. I currently don't have my red controller here, but I have a red controller, a black controller, and my dock. Altogether, it comes out to around $70-ish, including the two controllers. The dock is only around $15, I think, but it's really nice for my PS4, which I will be showing you guys later. And next, the next item... The next item will be my ViewSonic monitor. I got this monitor yesterday. It's around $120. It's really nice, 80 hertz. And yep, it displays my 1080 Ti graphics card really nice. And this stand that it has. So I've currently mounted it on a stand. It's really dusty, I haven't cleaned it really. But it's really nice. The stand helps, it can go side, it can turn like this, it can go up and down and it can like rotate it can rotate a lot Ooh, can i hit my other monitor let me fix this real quick guys okay there we go but yep it's the all together it's around 120 dollars but yep next monitor our next monitor is my asus monitor i don't know the specific name of this but it's really nice, comes out to around $150. There's buttons here, but there's not buttons. You just press under them and all the actions happen. See, just like that. And they come right up on the screen. And let's see on, and it's really nice. It's a little smaller than this and than the ViewSonic, but just a little bit, but it still displays like 1080 and 1920 videos perfectly fine. And I play Fortnite on this one because I really like it. This one's also 80 hertz, and let's get into our next item. I don't know actually how much these speakers are, but my dad just gave them to me. There's two pretty good speakers, and they are not fully set up. Like, my computer doesn't go with them yet, but I'm working on setting it up because the audio in and, like, the line out, or the audio out is not working in very, is not working very well, but we can get it to work. This one will probably go after the headphones, but I don't know 
Yeah, probably after the headphones and before the um, dock. And last but definitely not least, my PC. This PC comes out to be around $2,000 because it has a 1080 Ti RTX NVIDIA gaming graphics card, which is a great graphics card. I'll definitely recommend it. It can support power for both of my monitors perfectly fine. I'm also working on getting a third monitor, so like make it like uh, curved, basically. And I'm gonna get another one of these stands to put. But this is a really nice desktop, or not desktop, this is a really nice PC. It's, it's custom made with me and my dad. Shout out to my dad, he's really good at building like PCs and stuff. But yeah, let's work, let's continue on to my next part. So the next part of the basement, we have my couches, pretty simple. And then if we come over here, we have my ping pong table and my TV, which, if you didn't guess it, has my PS4. So my PS4 is right in there. And if you guys can see it, and here are my games that I have. I just store my games on the bottom. And here are the games. There we go. I have The Show 18, which is a great game, and will be the show. Madden 18, which I love the franchise mode on this because you don't have to have PS Plus to use it, which is nice. FIFA 19, which I haven't played very much, but it's pretty nice. Madden 19, I love playing... I mean, it's Madden 19, what do you expect? And The Show 17, which is, I think, the first game I got, actually. But, yep, all these games are very nice. You should, guys should go check them all out. I don't know if I'll have the links, but you guys know the titles, so you can just look them up on Amazon, probably. But, yeah, next item. Part of the basement. I forgot to tell you guys, my PS4 is $129. I got it on Black Friday, which is a great deal. Normally, it's around $200. PS4 Slim. And this is my... Xbox 360 with my five games. I have my Kinect back there, and I have my one controller, and then my second controller, which is back here, my wired controller, which lights up when you plug it in. But I haven't used my Xbox 360 in a while, but I just have it. And up here we have a DVD player, but I rarely use it because I have my PS4, which plays Blu ray Ultra HD. And let's go on to our next item. And here we have my sound bar. The, there's first a sound bar that runs all along the TV. And this is a 60, 60 inch TV, I think. So that's pretty big. And then it continues over to here, which there's a subwoofer. Oh, geez, you guys can't see it really. But there's a subwoofer. And the subwoofer connects to these two speakers, which give you surround sound when you're like sitting in the middle. You have it from the front, sound coming from that way, and then sound coming from both those ways. And it's really nice. It has it plays really nice quality, or really nice sound, I guess. And it has really nice bass. And our next item will be the TV. This TV is around seven hundred dollars. I think I got it from Sam's. It's an LG TV, sixty inch. And let me turn it on for you guys. Where's the remote? <clears throat> but yeah, I can't find the remote. But this TV plays really nice quality. If you guys are wanting a TV just to like put in your basement for like parties or stuff like that it's a nice tv i use this tv for my fortnite or not fortnite for my ps4 games and our next item is the tv this tv is an lg 60 inch tv a flat screen it's really nice it plays really nice color and yeah so this is what my ps4 looks like there's just Fortnite, that's how it looks. It's really nice quality. And yeah, I would really recommend this TV. I have a 70 inch upstairs, but this one's really nice for what I use on it, my PS4. And yeah, next item. I forgot to tell you guys about this, but this is the last item, table. So this table is around $700. It's the IKEA Freddy Gaming Workstation. And it's really nice, it has Spot up here for anything you want to put. Two spots on the side, which you can actually put these on the inside. It fits. And you can put speakers or anything on it. It has a another like mounted area above, so you can keep your monitors at eye level. And then it has an area down here for you to put your mouse pads. Lots of space for my mouse. I can go, although I have a lot of space. And I'm going to put a mouse pad there too. 
and there's spots on the bottom to put your PC on. I'm probably gonna put a heater on that one. But yeah, and that's all. And this chair was around twenty dollars, or no, fifty dollars, I think. It's from Staples. It's pretty old, but it's really comfortable. That's all for my gaming station. It, it including the TV and everything, it tops off to around four thousand to five thousand dollars. And if you guys have any questions about a certain thing, just leave it in the comment section below, and I'd be very happy to answer them. But, yep. We'll see you all next time on Audi Gaming's channel. Audi Gaming, out! Out!